could tell you that the majority of the neighbors of this area work at the dump. The work that they do there is very difficult because they need to fight to find some objects so they could sell it. And when they get back to the colony, to their home, they get there and they are defeated. They have the idea that they already fought over there and they don't want to do anything here at the colony. It is very difficult to get anything accomplished in the dump community because most people protest about working. They want all the benefits without putting forth any effort. I try to tell them that the most beautiful thing is to work really hard, to receive and earn a living. That's what we are trying to teach them, to be proud of earning something. When I started living here, my daughter now is nine years old, but at the time she was two months old. I was unemployed, and what I did was to sell tortillas. My husband was also unemployed, but I prayed to God that he helped me find how I could earn something that I could help my family. When Victor from Potter's house first connected with Erica, she was active in her community, exercising her gifts as a leader. Potter's house recognized her abilities, interviewed her, and extended an offer to her to partner with them in the community. Erica thought the position would be that of a volunteer, but she was blessed beyond her expectations. But they gave me this offering. It was a huge blessing because I didn't have anything for my daughter. I couldn't even buy milk for my daughter. Erica threw herself wholeheartedly into her work as a facilitator, enjoying regular financial support from Potter's House. Right now, my position is called facilitator of the community. There are 16 different communities near the dump. We're going to pray. And I visit different families through the leaders. I go visit the homes and I evaluate the needs of every case and which way we could help every family. And I also orientate the family that they also could be helping us and do their part to help others. I see the changes when the projects come in. When the projects come in, I can help them see that it's one neighbor's turn, and the next day, maybe it's my turn. So they are taking turns. There is more participation and more patience with each other. Erica has worked with Potter's House to provide desperately needed services to the families in the community. These services affect the lives of the treasures in dramatic ways by enabling them to live in more sanitary conditions and even to save lives. We have reached water to each home. And with Potter's house, we have done the pathways between the houses. Everybody participated. Children, older people, the whole community made a paved path through the community. That was a great project. It was a very happy time. It becomes like a big party. Everyone is so happy. All the neighbors start decorating. They put up balloons, the kids come out, they get all excited. It's very nice to see the participation. It's Americans as well as the community neighbors that get involved, and it's very exciting. 